Let's talk about why people think that saltwater fish keeping is harder than freshwater. The number one reason why people think that saltwater is more difficult than freshwater is because, of course, the salt. When it comes to freshwater, you can use water from your tap and just once it's dechlorinated, put it directly into your tank. But with salt water, you need to have a mix of salt specifically designed for reef tanks or just saltwater tanks in general mixed with very clean RO filtered water. That is the main difference between the two. The second reason is that a lot of saltwater fish tanks don't just have fish. A lot of the time they want coral or anemones or different things like that that can really add a lot of complication. If you're just doing fish, it's almost the same as a freshwater tank because you just put the fish in there, add a simple LED, set a timer, feed, water change, and you're pretty much good to go. But if you have corals, there's a lot of different nutrition that's in the water that you have to keep an eye on and you have to worry about the lighting itself. The third reason is that salt water is not as simple as fresh water in that a lot of people that do freshwater aquariums, they just go out to their local body of water, grab some leaf litter and use that to seed their tank. With salt water, you have to get that bacteria seed or a lot of the time that microfauna, microflora, like different things that eat the detritus and all those things and, and algae. You have to get those from a fish store or special order. You can't just go out locally and find it unless you live on a coast. If you're like me and you live in Colorado, which is completely landlocked, I'm not anywhere near the ocean and I can't do anything like that. So I have to go and buy things like live rock or live sand or just culture the bacteria and everything myself in my own home. This can be very intimidating for people as it's a lot more complex than a freshwater system. In all reality, saltwater and freshwater are are not all that different. The way that you take care of them in terms of just the fish is pretty much the same. Water changes, regular feeding schedule and not overfeeding and filtration are all basically the same in both. It's just the water that makes it up. It's when you start adding different complications like coral or specific types of animals that require different living conditions than are normally found in a simple saltwater aquarium that things start to get complex. If all you want is the saltwater equivalent of a goldfish tank and you take a 15 gallon tank like this one, for example, it's sitting behind me and you just want to put some clownfish in it. That's really easy and simple. You can find a local fish store, go buy saltwater and just put your fish in there and they can live happily. Now, if you want to give them an anemone like everyone loves to enjoy, you know, like they talk about in Finding Nemo, then you're, there's a lot more that goes into that. You need to know about lighting because anemones are not just, they don't just eat normal fish food. They also are photosynthetic, meaning they use the light for food. You also need to have a very specific flow, right? You can't just have a stagnant tank like some freshwater tanks because that anemone needs to move in the water like this. You can see right here so that it can properly capture the food it needs and get the movement and, and everything. If you ha are overfeeding, like if you have an anemone, you need really good biological filtration. And what I mean by that is you need cleanup crew like hermit crabs and snails to make sure that all that food gets taken care of. You need a sand bed that ha can host and deal with all that bio load that where the bacteria can live and small animals like copepods and amphipods that go through and sift that sand and find all that food. So things can get complicated really quickly, but if you keep it really simple, a saltwater tank isn't any more complex than a freshwater tank. Doing a water change with a saltwater tank involves mixing salt water, making sure it's the right levels of salt and other minerals, and then draining your tank and filling it with the right saltwater mixture to the, to the same level. It can't have huge temperature swings. Uh, it can't get too cold. Um, that that can be an issue. But that being said, it's very simple and very straightforward. You just pretty much do the same thing that you're always taught in, inside of the freshwater hobby. It's water changes, feeding on a regular schedule and not too much, and having you know basic maintenance schedules. When you water change, you clean the glass and you you know sift some of the gravel or sand, and that helps you keep it clean. Uh, but if you are going for a more natural looking reef tank, it's a lot more complex than a planted aquarium. A planted, a planted freshwater aquarium is fairly straightforward to get going. You just put the plants in, 
and call it a day and the plants maintain themselves with the local microfauna, right? The microfauna eat the algae and the plants grow and absorb the nitri nitrates, which you have this really good cycle going. In saltwater aquariums, a lot of the time you don't have as much of the nitrate absorbing materials unless you have macroalgae, which is very much like a planted saltwater aquarium or a planted freshwater aquarium just with salt water, right? The algae acts as those freshwater plants and it can be really beautiful. And there's a lot of people that have had a lot of success doing that. And it can look really amazing. A lot of people also say, well, if you're just going to do a planted aquarium, might as well do freshwater because it can be just as beautiful and way easier because you don't have to worry about salt or mixing and things like that. Freshwater fish are a lot more tolerant to swings in different chemicals, right? They can handle that because a lot of the time they do live in smaller ponds, whereas saltwater fish live in the ocean and the ocean is pretty much the only place that they are from, which is vast and is very, very stable. Even things like temperature are very stable over time in the ocean. They don't change a whole lot, especially at different you know levels. So in the place where these tropical, beautiful saltwater fish live, they're very stable, close to the equator, very warm, very sunny. The only times that things get mixed up is when there's storms. And even then, it's just a lot of sand and stuff that's in the water column. So, but long story short, saltwater and freshwater aren't that different unless you start making it complicated, right? I mean, you can make a freshwater tank extremely complicated with very large and complex animals. But inside of a saltwater tank, you can do the same. If you choose to keep it simple and keep very simple fish, even like predators, like a lionfish or something like that, very straightforward, very hardy, and all it takes is water changes and feeding. And that's pretty much all it comes down to. Between those two things, you can keep a saltwater tank pretty much as easily as a freshwater tank without overcomplicating it and getting into the reef and coral and everything, which is the natural next step for most people as the reef and coral is some of the most fun part of the saltwater hobby. And it's usually why people get into it in the first place. But let me know in the comments what you think. If you are in, in freshwater currently and you're looking to get into saltwater and you'd like more information on how to start that and what processes of learning there is there, then I'd love to hear it. But other than that, I hope you have a really awesome experience getting into salt water. I hope your next salt water tank is awesome and never has any issues. And I hope it's great. So let me know in the comments what you think and we'll see you next.